according to the usda prime beef which is about two percent of all graded beef contains more fat and marbling results in tender and flavorful meat most of the graded beef sold in supermarkets is usda choice or in some cases usda select and you should remember that legally all beef needs to be inspected before it is sold commercially, but not all beef needs to be graded. That's a voluntary system that was developed in the 1920s. All the protein, vitamin, and mineral content of beef is similar regardless of the grade. While in the past only 2% of all beef graded out as prime, the best steaks, the most well marbled with the best flavor, the youngest, less collagen in them, and that means a tender steak, and most critically, the smallest pockets of intramuscular tenderizing fat may have dropped to as low as 0.5% of the total beef supply due to demand, and customers these days are looking for leaner beef. The top tier of choice beef has also become harder and harder to find, as many luxury steakhouses have switched from prime beef to high-end choice, and in fact, so have most supermarkets. These days, many restaurants say they're serving prime meat, but they may not be. If your steak is devoid of deep and intense beefy flavor and it's chewy, or if no grade is given at all, it's probably choice. The other program offered up by the USDA is the certification system. This system allows for designations of breeds and or variety, the most familiar being the Angus breeds, which are renowned for holding their marbling. This attribute has resulted in overbranding of beef and thanks to savvy marketers has brought us certified black Angus, certified Angus beef and sterling silver programs. And remember kids, naturally raised grass fed beef is sold ungraded because it is in most cases not commercial beef.